Hi, I'm Dr. Michelle Staben Wapker, and I'm here to tell you some about various demonstrations you can do regarding particle technology with stuff you can find around the house. And this is really relevant to the types of problems that we actually see in our daily work at GlaxoSmithKline. What we do in that department involves particle technology. We have to see how different powders and granules will flow together to make some sort of medicine. So what we're going to look at now is the types of segregation, which is where particles end up in separate areas. So what we have here is just a jar. These are lab jars, but you can use anything that you can find at the grocery store, spice jars or peanut butter jars when they're cleaned out, of course. And so we're going to just throw some model granules in here. And so these are both the same size of seed beads. So we'll pour in about the same amount of each kind, shake them up. We can mix it sideways, roll it over, and you still end up with a very well mixed system. Now that doesn't always happen though, if what you're doing is you have different sizes of beads. So again, we're going to start with a layer of these seed beads, the nice small ones. And now we're going to use beads that are about twice the size or more of these beads. And we'll try to put about the same amount in this jar. We're going to shake it up. It's reasonably well mixed in this phenomena here. But then we kind of put it side to side, might shake it around not quite as vigorously. You can see at the end here that you're going to have all of your large beads on top of the small red beads because all the small ones have fallen through the spaces between the large ones. So then this leads us into a discussion in our next demonstration where we'll be looking at what's known as the Brazil nut effect. So what we're looking at here is a jar full of sand and we have a heavy material. In this case, we just use a fishing weight you can use a steel nut if you want to. And you just put it into the material, tap it down in so that it's not in there, so it's pretty deep in. Put on the lid, and then shake it up. And what you can see is that even though this is heavier and denser than the sand, it's actually come to the top of the material. So now we're going to look at something, though, that may not make as much sense, is that this reverses depending on how you shake it. So if we, what we add in here is a much lighter object, just a push pin like you'd have on your bulletin board. Drop that in, again push it down into the material. And now what we're going to do, we're just going to do some nice gentle side to side shaking. And what you can see happens so now the push pin is what comes to the top and the heavy mass has actually sunk to the bottom. And this is what's known as the reverse Brazil nut effect. And the thing that I think is coolest about this effect is that scientists don't really understand yet how it works. So maybe you could be the next scientist to actually figure this phenomena out.